Hey folks, welcome back. Well, if you got a 55 or a 5R 55E transmission without reverse, uh, this prop this might be your problem. Hopefully not, but this one happened. This 55 or this 55E transmission goes in a, a 97 Ford Explorer. Uh, I'm not a transmission expert, so I don't know like what other ranges. If the if the regular this is a five speed first year they came out with a five speed, um, and it's very similar. I think even the inner parts are all the same as the four speeds um, in this generation, but I don't know how late it goes or any of that kind of stuff. Um, so basically, you know, what I'm going to go through here right quick is just, you know, how did we find out exactly the problem has a broken um, reverse band and I'll uh, explain how I found it. Okay. So the first thing, uh, thing you need to do to find out you know this can give you an idea if you have a problem with the band um because <clears throat> i'm pretty sure is is you know like this car here lost reverse but it has all the forward gears everything works just fine goes forward all the way up to uh you know 70 miles an hour or whatever no problem just no reverse um it kind of wants to roll a little you can kind of feel the engine tone just a little bit but not not very much um, but it will not go in um and so the first thing i did was uh obviously check the fluid but you know aside from that put it down into um manual one and it takes off good and then when you let off the gas if your engine just immediately drops down to idle and like it's in neutral and coasting that's not a good sign um, because which is what you consider like your engine braking or something like that you could start out in second and go all the way up you know 20 25 miles an hour downshift into first and your rpm should go whoa, up up high you know and if it doesn't do that then you most likely have a band problem so the next thing you have to do is you know that's your checks to do and you can do this particular check with the transmission uh, still in the vehicle so you're gonna have to remove the pan and then you're gonna have to remove uh, these four bolts right here 10 millimeter headed bolts and this is gonna take out the reverse band or the reverse servo or something or other I, like I said I'm not an expert but I just know what the problem this one has so you pull this off there's a gasket there and then this shouldn't really go down this far. That's your first clue, but we'll explain why. So pull this out. And this is your reverse. This is the actual servo here with your O-rings and stuff like that on there. And I'm going to try to get this camera in a good shot to be able to uh, film this because I'm not sure if it's going to come out or not. Okay, one thing we got going on is now that this transmission is laid over on its back because I did this while it was still in the car uh, all the pieces have fallen down you know part of the you know so I mean you take something like you know this is a socket extension and see how far down it drops yeah that's not right whereas if you go over here you got this right here it goes down just little ways and just stops right there and then you can push down on this a little bit and actually feel it tightening the band. And I don't know if we're going to be able to show that or not. Um, yeah, I, you're not going to be able to see what I'm seeing if I really get close to looking at this. But put this light right here, about three-eighths of an inch, I can feel it. And there's tension like it's you can feel it kind of like well like pressing pressing down on a, on a fan belt just kind of like that you know you just you feel it start and then you feel it and then it gets tight and then that, that's what I'm feeling on this deal right here I can look way down in there I just don't think the camera's gonna show it right through the this hole right here and I can see it tightening the band down um, the other thing too is I don't know if we can see you can see that there's a spot for you know the plunger rod this deal right here to make contact in 
And as you can see, this one is gone. It's down inside there, so the band is broken. Um, hopefully, that's not your problem. That's our problem. Um, I just had this apart, basically, to kind of show this or whatever. Both of these, I don't think either one of these. This transmission, now it's going to have to get, you know, fixed and rebuilt, which isn't something that I do, but... The whole inside of the transmission, the innards, the parts, and all that stuff. So you got to start with removing the bell housing, the pump, pull all the drums and gears and planet gears and bearings and everything else that are in here, um, because that band is right in the back there. Unfortunately, there's no other way to fix it. So um, hopefully this helps you out in some way to be able to figure out if that's what you got going on. Because if you don't have a broken band then you could have problems with like your servo the uh th valve body and all that kind of stuff so hopefully it's helped you out thanks for watching